it's pretty clear where mule deer don't make it across the road. But what these researchers want to find out is where they do. The answer is needed as officials here get ready to expand major highways, some up to five lanes. Highways that run through this wildlife-rich gateway to Grand Teton and Yellowstone National Parks. Well, in Teton County, we have a, a rapid growth. We've had it for years. And the, the number of vehicles going up and down our highways has gone up uh, almost exponentially. More traffic means more collisions. If we can figure out where animals are crossing, we can at least hope to reduce some of those wildlife vehicle collisions, which will help from a population perspective, help to keep the animals alive. But second, it also improves human safety. Nobody wants to hit an animal with their car. These kinds of accidents can be avoided. Building wildlife underpasses has reduced collisions with deer by as much as 90% in other parts of Wyoming. The, the federal government and the state governments are spending more money uh, to figure out how these animals are crossing as well as how to safely do it. Uh, it's a huge safety problem. This three-year study will cost more than $300,000. It's labor-intensive work. <laughs> Researchers bait traps to attract deer, but when deer don't take the bait, they also use tranquilizer darts. The tranquilizer allows safe handling of the deer and the fitting of a GPS tracking collar. After they reverse the drug, they make sure she fully recovers. Her collar will fall off in two years. That's when this team will retrieve it to download data that will reveal how these animals maneuver through this increasingly busy valley. Before we had data that showed they traveled from point A to point B, and that was great. What did they do in between? Did they have to go around houses? Did they have to stop at the highway and go up and down the highway to wait for a, a point to cross? So that's what this study is going to do for us. Officials here say good information is key to getting the biggest bang for their buck. I think some of the biggest challenges, of course, costs. Uh, we have to design something that it's going to be affordable to build and it's going to be usable for the wildlife. It's a first step in a long-term effort to provide safer passage for people and wildlife. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.